Welcome back to the tent. Okay, so we are ready now, and I'm going to be talking about a product that I actually really like. I have no affiliation. I don't know anybody that works there. I was recommended this product, and I have fallen in love with it. It is called Flex Seal. I'm gonna be putting this on today. This stuff is kick butt. Basically a spray on rubber. It comes in different colors like black and white, but this is the clear stuff. Pretty straightforward. They do have a couple of nice hints and tricks here on the back of it that I totally recommend reading. Anyway, this is for excellent for for roof leaks, gutters, skylights, window sills, flashings, ductwork, foundations, awnings, chimneys, downspouts, vent pipes, AC drip pans, RVs, campers, trailers, projects, and so much more, it says. I did a trough right there. I'm incredibly pleased with the results. Not only does the water trough not leak whatsoever, I did do two coats on it. It is solid, and I have a goose short stack who likes to eat and destroy everything, and she's been all over it. She has not damaged it one single bit. And I did one board in my bridge, and I'm incredibly pleased with the results. So we're gonna be using it on my wood deck today. Check this out. This is kind of utter chaos in here with the amount of destruction that my deck endured from these high winds and this crazy New England storm. It is the middle of winter in New England and we had one of those lovely New England storms roll through a couple days ago. What happened is we got 12 inches of snow. The very next day we got six inches of rain which froze overnight. So all of that stuff melted away two days later and destroyed my tent that was originally designed just to put some heaters up so I could seal this deck. Now it's sealed once, I wanted to seal it twice. But anyways, that was a long story short. Now the seal that I was using was just your standard that you buy at any home place. I was happy with that. Instead of doing the second seal, I'm going to do flex seal. When you're using stuff like this, I'm gonna be wearing my PPEs, that is your personal protective equipment. Optimally, you'd have one of those KN95s from NIOSH, the National Institute for Occupational Safety and Health, registered by them so that it is actually a lot more safe and effective. This will do the trick, and I just don't want my hands to become rubberized, so I'm gonna use a pair of gloves when I do this. One thing you definitely want to make sure of that you do is completely clean and dry the area that you're about to do. I had a lot of ice to deal with and a lot of junk to deal with on the stack, so. I sprayed it back and forth the entire way four times. Then I got some warm water and cleaned. I sprayed it again, and I painstakingly melted all the ice, and then I came back and blew it again twice more. So it is very clean right now, and I am in a fresh set of socks that I did not walk up here in. This place is as clean as it's ever going to get, and we are outside in the forest, and it's about 16 degrees right now. Another thing about this Flex Seal, I think it is most important to keep this stuff at a good temperature before you use it, and not to let it get too cold. So that in mind, we're gonna go ahead and get started because we're gonna get more snow tonight. All right, let's go. Oh, I love how these fog up my glasses, but the good thing is, I Oh, it's nice, it kind of makes your face warm though, you know? Anything helps. We're just gonna go ahead and shake this up nice and thoroughly. It says here to spray it eight to 12 inches away. All right, let's go. You should mix this throughout using it as well. I'm getting a little better at this. Okay, so here's something interesting. I was just inverting it and it started spitting out a bunch of thick drops. So I'm definitely going to get a brush and I'll be back. Now it also says that if you start to see some of this where it looks kind of liquidy and uneven, you can use a brush. I'm gonna do that because I am absolutely terrible at spray paint. I always have been and you know, I'm not very good at this either. <laughs> it is what it is. So last time when I did this, I used just one of these cheap foam brushes. This foam brush worked excellent last time I did it. It's, it was perfect. I'm gonna give this a go, hoping that it's better and we will always learn something new. So let's try it. 
If you've done this before, let me know if this is the right way to do it, or if you have any tips or suggestions on a better way to do this. Go ahead and nice and gently push everything outward. And that's leaving a little bit of line, but that's okay. I think it'll work itself out. I got this much done. The first two steps. That was the whole can, plus the kicks. So I have four cans. I should be good to go with the rest of this deck. Been out here only about 15 minutes and this can is so cold right now. Yikes. I'm sort of just getting it on there ugly and then smoothing it out. One important note, one PPE that you should totally wear is eyeglasses because you also don't want rubber in your eyes. Now, I was shaking like this because I kind of got lazy and I just wanted to shake it instead of doing my normal uh, drop came up and landed just under my eye here. Had that gone into my eye, I would have needed to seek out medical attention. This is rubber. You really don't want this in your eye. So I'm going to just suck it up now and wear my glasses because I'd rather have foggy glasses than a rubber eye. You can't do this with spray paint, that's for sure. It's just going on and spreading out so nicely. I am brushing very lightly too. Probably should have mentioned that. I'm not really trying to push this around. I'm just smoothing it out. Very lightly. So we're just about done. We only have a small area right here. So I'm going to transfer to the outside now. All right, we are all done. I'm just gonna do a quick experiment here. I've got two boards here. One that says snow and one with a T on it for tent. So we're gonna use Flex Seal on both of these. And I'm gonna leave one out in the snow tonight. And I'm going to put one inside of our tent where everything else is currently being Flex Sealed. We're gonna put our T for tent right here. That's where he's gonna spend the night. Well, I'm gonna leave that guy right where he's at. Okay, we're done. For the record, it took four cans to do that. Fairly large area of the deck, anyway. We're gonna come back tomorrow. I'm gonna see how things are dried, see how things turned out. I'm gonna give my pros and cons and the recommendations and things that I could have done better and things that I would recommend anybody else use this product do a little bit differently than I did. We'll save that for tomorrow. In the meantime, see ya. All right, it was about four o'clock last night when we completed our flex seal seal. So we're gonna check it out. All right, we are definitely covered in snow. Yep, that is our snow boy. Let's see how we did. I don't feel any gummy. It's definitely cold. That's incredible. It's eight o'clock in the morning here right now. So very well under 24 hours and we have a completely dry and successfully sealed flex seal board. Let's check our inside. tent board totally sealed now this appears slightly gummy like it is still slightly wet for whatever reason i'm just gonna go ahead and test it right here no totally dry this was the last board that we sealed last night if i was to use the word impressed that is just such a vast understatement. Absolutely incredible. We are under 24 hours.
for Flex Seal to be completely healed. I'm not gonna walk on it. Definitely give it the recommended a lot of time, a lot of time, 24 to 48 hours. I'm gonna give it at least 72 because it is very chilly here. It's uh, 20 degrees today. Just incredible. Pros, um, yeah, they're all there. I have yet to really test the durability of it. You know, I could, uh, I suppose, take a hammer to one of those boards that we sealed and bang it up and, and, and see how it does. I really don't feel like that's gonna be a very effective test. Cons, okay, so um, I used the spray cans. They do have a bucket of brush on. You think that you could buy more and save, but no, you can't. It's, uh, it's about $15 for a can, and you can buy six cans literally for $15 each um, in bulk, and you can buy one of those buckets. Uh, you're not gonna save any money anyway, no matter how you buy it. The spray can to me, it was, when you spray it, it was shooting off into areas that I, that I didn't want it to go. It was kind of hard to control it. I'm not, again, that great at using a spray can, but I 100% prefer the brush on method. I think it is very effective. The cleanup in terms of using that spray was a little bit rough because the spray did go places again where I didn't want it to go. More cons about using the spray can. If you shake it, you are going to expect some drops to come up out of that nozzle and either drop back onto the area that you just did or like what happened to me, go right to your face which if you get that in your eye it is going to be very dangerous. If you happen to inhale some of the spray, if the wind is coming at you, or if you're in a, a poorly ventilated area, it is going to be very devastating for your lungs. So the toxicity, it is very highly suggested to wear the appropriate PPEs, again, personal protective equipment, gloves, adequate respirator, and goggles, for sure. Gloves you might be able to live without, but the most important thing would be goggles and respirator, no doubt. Other than that, I think it's a great product. Good job, guys, over at Flex Seal. <laughs> if you see this video, man, good job. Wow, incredible stuff. Well, I have some interesting, potentially devastating, yet I think very important updates. The last video that I made was from Monday. It is now today, Friday. So I ordered the one gallon bucket. I plan on doing the second coat today. First update I wanna make is actually a change uh, from a mistake I made earlier in regards to pricing. There are different pricings online. The one that I was looking at were the local home goods places in my area. I didn't find the gallon one so i started looking for the gallon and i ended up on amazon where i found some different prices so the spray cans that i used the other day those were from the local home goods place that did not offer any sort of bulk discount even if you bought them in a bulk box in a package it was just 14.99 for one can for the 14 ounce can i believe it's 14 ounce can they also sell 17 ounce cans for um 16.99 but I did find a gallon bucket. Price per ounce ranges, a gallon is what, 128 ounces, right? Came out to be about 75 cents per, per ounce. So that was a lot cheaper. So I wanted to wait until that arrived so that I could do the second coat. And it arrived last night. Either way, the can was completely busted open. About one quarter of the whole can was spilled. I don't think that this is a problem with the guys over at Flex Seal. However, it did come in a double sealed plastic bag with sticky bubble wrap stuff. So it came very well protected. So something tells me they've been through this before. Either way, I'm pretty positive it was the Amazon delivery that completely destroyed it. The, the lid was totally off and it leaked through that thick layer of packaging through the box and was actually sealing my garage floor. I did go on to Amazon though and I looked and there are some other people that experienced some similar situations as this and of course gave a you know one star review. But I really, again, don't think it is uh, Flex Seal's fault. The next important update is that it was Monday. Now today is Friday. I got all of my stuff together to throw in that second seal. And I want to show you guys what I found. As I opened up our tent, I just got some of my stuff together here to put on the next seal. 
and a couple items here are like my very warm Christmas socks, things of that nature. I set them right here and when I went to lift them, they didn't really want to come up a little bit. When we checked this deck, no joke, it was completely dry, as was our board here. This is, you can see our tee for our tent, totally dry, but this is sticky. And obviously it is, it stuck to some of the hair fibers and WTF. And look, that's my fingerprint right there. So yeah, it's not done, guys. I really thought it was, but it is not. This is just the entryway, so this is the last place that we did. And I'm very curious about the first place that we did over in that direction. So I'm gonna go check that out right now. This way. Okay, we can sort of, we can get in here a little bit. And it definitely does still feel a bit sticky. I need to get in further. Okay, so right here is basically the very center of the deck. It is 100% not ready. The toe kicks are definitely sticky as well. This is not done. How did it feel completely dry the next day? And it feels super sticky today. The temperature literally hasn't changed. It increased a couple degrees. Not really sure what to say about that. Last note, on one of the reviews I read on Amazon about the someone who bought a gallon of it was a lady who said that she also used to use the spray cans and she decided to go for the gallon. It popped off and spilled and a lot of it leaked out and stuff like that. But what she said interested me because, um, you know, coming out here myself to use the, the one gallon can as opposed to the spray cans, what she mentioned was that it went on in a different way. So I'm very curious about that. I am going to find a uh, inconspicuous area, perhaps really see if there's a difference. I hope there's not. I've learned to not expect a whole lot around here for <laughs> projects and getting things done. Yeah. Okay. All right, guys, here's the deal. I gave a phone call over to the guys at Flex Seal and I talked to a nice lady who walked me through some of the problems that may have occurred that led to the Flex Seal not healing properly on that deck. So it has now been two weeks and it's still sticky and, and gummy on the deck. And so I just needed to call see what I did wrong. First of all, um, I mentioned in the video that I did two different projects with the Flex Seal. One was the trough which healed greatly. The second one was that one decking board on my bridge, which also healed greatly. Now on the trough, I didn't do any sort of other sealant, but on the decking board, I used Varathane. I've been using this for 15, 20 years on, you know, my wood projects. This is an oil based wood sealer and this is what I used on my bridge. The flex seal came out perfectly fine in the rain, in the snow. It was, it's totally dry. It's completely healed. It looks amazing. But I read some reviews on Thompson's water seal. It's a lot more affordable and it has great reviews. I've never used this before. You know, I wanted to see how it went on. And so I used it on the part of the deck that was going to be flex sealed in this video. Now that is the part of the deck that has not cured. So when I spoke to the people over at Flex Seal, she said it goes on to some types of sealant, but not other types of sealant. So I mentioned what I used and she said, okay, never heard of that one before. So apparently Flex Seal is not going to stick or adhere to a water-based wood sealant. So if you're gonna do this on your own and you wanna do a seal first and then a flex seal afterwards like I did, don't cheap yourself out. Go with a better quality seal and make sure it's oil-based. So now basically what I have to do is clean off the entire deck. I have to remove all of the flex seal that I applied. It was only four cans, okay, but however long it took, it's going to probably be 15 times that now to remove it. She said the best way to remove it is to get a dry cloth and just get rid of it. I asked her if I could use mineral spirits and she said, yeah, that would be okay. Now, the only thing that I'm a little bit concerned about is the mineral spirits wiping off the first layer of sealant. 
or maybe even wiping off the stain. So I'm going to try it on an inconspicuous area and see if it works out okay. Hoping for the best on that. But this has been a very big learning process and has really set me back weeks, unfortunately, just waiting for this to dry, knowing that it's not going to dry. So when I redo this whole thing, I will make another video on what happens with the mineral spirits and removing the flex seal and hopefully not removing anything else. But no doubt about it, what I am going to do either way is use the mineral spirits, remove the flex seal, Maybe I remove some of the Thompson seal that's on it. Whether or not I do, I honestly don't care. I'm, I'm gonna find out once it's done, if it's still on there or not. I'm going to give a light sand on it, and I'm going to apply the second coat with my good old friend Varathane here, oil-based sealer. Now, when that is completely cured, probably two weeks, I'm going to reapply the Flex Seal because I know it's going to work. The other thing is she did mention the ventilation has to be very good. Now, my ventilation wasn't very poor and my tent kind of got destroyed. There's a lot of holes, you know, so I did get a little bit of a breeze in there, which I was initially concerned about because of the temperature, but apparently that's not a thing to worry about. The biggest thing is the ventilation. So I'm going to open up ventilation. I'm going to redo that entire tent canopy covering anyways so that's going to be probably the first thing that i do and uh we're going to go from there so this is my <laughs> really unfortunate struggle with this deck journey you know really hope you guys learn from this and don't make the same mistakes that i did i hope this helps all right cheers hey thanks for watching this video if you actually did stick around for the whole thing and uh, let me know what you think about it. Let me know if you have different techniques that would be better than mine when I was using the Flex Seal. Or spray cans in general, you know? <laughs> let me know your thought. And uh, if you like it, I'm glad you did. See you guys later.